Hi, and welcome to Home Assistant How To with Bearded Tinker. Today we will not be talking about any specific device, instead we will be talking about the location or device tracking. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Before we start talking about device trackers and location trackers, let me first thank all those wonderful people that are supporting me on the YouTube channel and have become YouTube members. Thank you all for your support. And also thanks to everybody who subscribed, watched or liked my videos. Thank you. If you too want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking the join button down below. And now let's get started with today's topic. Couple weeks ago, Automate Your Life released this video where he's talking about the Tile and Life360 and the problem with the data privacy, or let's say it better, problem with releasing the user data to the public. Then, a few days ago, Jeff from Slacker Labs released his own video on alternative of the Life360. And then I decided I want to make my own take on this subject. So today we will be looking at some alternatives and ways on how you can also use or create trackers in your home assistant, either for a person or pets, and we will also be talking about the pros and cons of each of those integrations. I will not be going into details about Life360 or the possible future issue with Tile, instead of that let's just look at a couple of alternatives. Home Assistant Companion app is available to both Android and iPhone or Apple devices. And the development of Android, which was lagging behind, has picked up and both applications now are on pair. And most of the functionality that you have in one app, you also have in the other. For day-to-day -day use, I use Home Assistant Companion app to track the location of four devices or four mobile phones that my four family members use, so me, my wife and the two kids. Our dog still doesn't have a mobile phone. The integration and configuration of this tracker is very simple, all you have to do is enable geolocation sharing inside the app itself. Then the operating system, Android or iPhone or iOS, will ask you to confirm permission and more or less that's it. The problem I'm experiencing with this is the issue with iPhone. Unfortunately, due to some to me unknown reason, and I did check permissions a couple of times, Home Companion app on the iPhone is losing the GPS tracking capability, meaning that if phone reboots and I don't manually start the application, it will not be updating the location, which is security measure on the side of the operating system. So how do I overcome that? I just send a text message to my daughter and ask her to turn her application on. If you are not using Home Assistant Companion app, but you already have Google account and are using Google Maps, then maybe this may be alternative to you. I know the question is about privacy. You are really sending your data to Google or Google Maps, and this data is then sent back to Home Assistant. So how does this work? I've set up my Google Maps integration a long, long, long time ago, but still it's working. So basically you need to create additional Google account. I created one additional Google account or Gmail account for my Home Assistant. And what I do, each of the mobile devices in my family, so each of the Google accounts is sharing a location with that specific account. Also, my parents are sharing it too. So what it does, Home Assistant then needs to log in to this account. You have to manually download, at least that was when I created my account, download the cookie, and then the Home Assistant will be pretending to be a Gmail or Google Maps user that will be pulling the location of other devices. But remember, the negative side is, once again, you are sharing your location data with the Google Maps, so the big brother knows where you are all the time. There is one additional device or person tracker I'm using, and this is Tado. So how does this work? Tado requires you to have application installed. And this application, based on the subscription or service that you have enabled, each time my phone gets near to the home, Tado knows I'm approaching and starts hitting, or vice versa. If I've exited my home zone, and start moving away from my home, it knows it can disable the heating. 
and this has to be installed on every mobile phone of the family member or anybody living with you and you can pull this information inside Home Assistant. Unfortunately, you will not get the location of the person, where is it currently located on the map, but you will receive information if person is present or not present at your location, which can be used also for some simple notifications. What are some other services, tools or applications that you can use? Geofancy is the paid app for iOS. You can set up your account there and use it to track your location. Jeff also mentioned own tracks and the Android fork is called Next Tracks, which is free and open source application for iOS and Android that allows you to track your location. So you can use that to accurately monitor where everybody is. There are some glitches. I've seen a couple of posts on the Twitter with people saying that they had problems with it. But basically, this is one free solution. If you want to track the location of your car, there is always option to use track car, if it's available in your area. Or if you want to track pets, you have Tractive. And if I'm not mistaken, Mark Watt Tech on his channel has one great video on how to install, use and what you get when you are using Tractive. But there are also some other options and this all depends on if you want to sacrifice and have data only available to you. For example, then Home Assistant Companion app can, in my opinion, be the only application or source that you need or want to use in this case, because no data is shared with anybody else, it's just your phone and your Home Assistant local installation. As I mentioned, Google is great if you are already committed to the Google account and you are using proactively both Gmail, Google Maps, etc. Because, yeah, when you are already sharing data with Google Maps, then you can also share it with your own second account that you just created for the purposes of Home Assistant. But the question is, will the other family members be also keen to share that information both to Google and you? And there are some other services or applications such as OwnTracks or NextTrack, Geofancy, TrackCar and Tracti. But do you have other options where no data is exchanged or no data leaves your Home Assistant. Yes, for that you need to use something that's called internal Home Assistant device trackers. And I also created a couple of videos on them. For that mostly we use two types of devices. We either use network devices, such as for example our access points or routers, where they collect data about devices that have been attached to the network. One of the examples is when you are near your home, in the range of Wi-Fi, your mobile phone will log in to your network and then your network will know that your device is nearby. And then, for example, you can create notification based on the uh, MAC address of that device or device name that this device has attached, meaning that somebody has arrived home. The next type of the devices are BLE trackers. And I'm not that fond of them. Tile is working something similar to the BLE tracker, but there are more simple Chinese versions. I purchased a couple of them and most of them ended up in the electronic graveyard. And why is that? A. They were chewing up the batteries. The batteries in them didn't last even one month. B. They required me to press a button, which is something that I have no intention of doing every time I'm approaching my home. C. They required installation of the application mobile phone and no, I didn't want to do that. These are the cheap Chinese one. They are more expensive. One of them I've seen lately. I unfortunately haven't tested it myself and hope to test it in the near future. These are more premium based BLE trackers that you can then track by using the BLE device on your network. For example, this can be ESP32 device or the Raspberry Pis. When I started with my Home Assistant, I was even using Google Minis as BLE hubs that were constantly scanning the area and giving me information about all BLE enabled devices in the vicinity. And I was using it as a simple device tracker. But unfortunately, I didn't find that too useful as sometimes I would lose connection to device. With Home Assistant, you have big option of what you will be using. And this can be based on your privacy concerns, data availability, devices you are used, do you want to use paid subscription, free subscription, applications, etc. 
In my home, we are using Home Assistant companion app as primary device or person tracker. For the backup, we are using Google Maps. And as a second backup or third option, we are also using Tado. Links to automate your life and the Slacker Labs videos will be down in the description of the video, along with the links to some of my other videos that I've recorded on this subject. If you would like me to record specific video for any of the trackers, don't forget to leave comment down in the comment section below, or better yet, go to the Discord and leave message there. If you did like this video and did find it useful, please consider giving me a like, because it not just means a lot to me, but it really helps with the YouTube algorithms, and we all want to please the YouTube gods. If you still haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell button so you get notified on the future video updates. And I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.